What's up guys? I'm filming my first YouTube video obviously because I'm on this camera and you're watching me on YouTube So clearly this is my first YouTube video. I don't know. Before Corinna Kopp was a YouTube sensation Collaborating with the likes of Jason Nash, David Dobrik, and Josh Peck as well as putting out her own YouTube videos You know, I'm gonna start the year off right. I'm gonna get those views going for the new year. All right, let's talk about people that help you get views. Before Corinna Kopp had a massive social media following, almost 1 million on Twitter as well as over 2 million on Instagram at the time of this recording. Before Corinna Kopp was in a relationship with fellow YouTubers such as Toddy Smith and was even caught out on a date with Logan Paul. Don't tell Tifu. Get your so, clout, <laughs> run to the YouTubers, like, do you? I'm not so, gonna, so I can't. I'm trying to stop yeah. her. Eight-year-old Corinna was visiting her grandparents in Germany. Traveling to the country every summer, she figured it would be just another trip. Only this time, something strange occurred that eventually forced her to visit a local hospital. Missing her mom back in America, a rather uneasy feeling began kicking in. What started off with crying herself to sleep turned into the shortness of breath. As it turns out, this was something much more serious than just a simple case of homesickness. In case you don't know, Corinna Corinna Kopp is a YouTuber and influencer who has become world famous for her vlogs as well as wacky online antics. Whether she's getting plastic surgery, taking a lie detector test, or rifling about past relationships, she's always managed to pull in a crowd. Since posting her first video in February of 2017, Corinna has amassed a giant social media following. This exposure has given her the opportunity to start her own line of merch. That's just at the time of this recording. Corinna has made news more than recently for her relationship with Toddy Smith. Due to her popularity online, we're here to finally talk about it with you guys. She has lived quite a life for someone who's only 23. One that has been filled with ups and downs, even with a family tragedy. What's going on guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer, documenting the life and career of Corinna Kopp, prior to fame here for you on Before They're Famous. As usual, you guys requested this video and naturally we had to deliver. We've also done profiles on celebs such as Liza Koshy and David... Why haven't we done David Dobrik? I don't know bro! What's going on? <laughs> We'll get that to you guys soon, but we also have epics on Drake and Aria Grand ah, Ariana Grande, so be sure to check those out. It's Ariana! It's Ariana, my bad. <laughs> if there's a celeb you guys would like to see, please hit us up in the comment box below. All right, now let's get into Corinna Koff. Before they were famous. Before they were famous. Before they were famous about <gasps> That was a pretty good video. I like this guy. Does. Look, Freddie, cool. you did a great job. Michael is never wrong. So damn, that was cool. How did he know that? Bro! Looks beautiful. Hey, come on. Hey. <laughs> Kopp was born on December 1st, 1995. According to most sources we have looked at, the YouTuber was born in Palatine, a city in Cook County, Illinois, located not far outside of Chicago. Through some research, it appears as if she may have grown up in a nearby Rolling Meadows, a small town of about 25,000. Corinna is of German descent. When she was little, she would visit Germany every summer. Raised by a single mother, Corinna would get this chance to spend quality time with her grandparents while there. The couple seemed to have been very supportive of her. A few years back, she posted a photo on her Twitter of a card sent by them, congratulating her on her awesome report card, signed Oma and Opa. Inside the envelope, a crisp $100 bill. Make those fat stacks. Seriously, there's another picture of her with a fat stack of cash in her hand. As a young kid, Corinna stated that she wanted to be a veterinarian. He was roaming the streets of Bakersfield, and now he is my little guy for the rest of his life. While Corinna certainly appears to be in high spirits on her YouTube videos, she certainly had her share of heartache. On January 10th, 2007, her older brother Chris committed suicide. As you can imagine, this type of tragedy could change anyone's life. It certainly did that for Corinna. To commemorate her brother close to the seven year anniversary of his passing, she put out this tweet stating, Missing you more than ever today, Chris. Can't believe it's been almost seven years since I lost my big brother and best friend. We've all seen her exposing many different aspects of her personal life, but believe us, she still stays extremely private. It took us quite a while to find information on her. During an interview, a recently famous Corinna was asked if she likes to be alone. She stated, I think if I get back to the point of remembering what it was like to be alone, I will. I don't really like it right now. I just don't remember what it's like to be alone. But I know that I will like being alone. I just can't remember at this point. Corinna has opened up publicly about her struggles with anxiety. In a recent vlog interview, she told a story where her anxieties got so bad she spent a week convinced she had cancer. Corinna says her anxiety began around the age of seven or eight. She was on vacation in Germany when she began missing her mother. 
Corinna soon began feeling shortness of breath and had to go to the hospital. My grandparents freaked out and took me to the hospital one day because when someone says they can't breathe, that's really scary. They took me to the hospital and they're like, oh, she might have air in her stomach from crying so much, so they gave me these like little pills. The anxiety worsened for her after the death of her brother. Both of her parents would later help their daughter with their anxiety as they too suffered from the condition. This would prove to be helpful in the coming years as Corinna moved on into high school. She's gone on to say that as a result of her anxiety, she has only smoked weed a couple of times. She says the first time she did it, she went home to her mom and barfed all over her. Corinna states that she lost her virginity when she was in her sophomore year of high school. In an episode of Losing Your V-Card with Josh Peck, Corinna admitted that in high school she was pretty slutty. These are in her words, not in ours. The reason for this was that when she first got to high school, she believed that in order to become popular, you need to hook up with as many people as possible. I can't co-sign that. I just, I'm a, I'm a good Christian boy. I hooked up with everybody. <laughs> A select few people from my high school are gonna watch this and be like, what the Corinna attended William Fremd High School in Palatine, where she looks to be a part of the Fremd Vikings dance squad. In a 2001 issue of the Fremd High School newspaper, a quote of hers can be seen on the front page making a tribute to a student who passed away. By the looks of this photo, Corinna was on the flag football team at one time. She also had a job at Hooters restaurant in nearby Schaumburg. By the looks of it, she worked with fellow future YouTuber Paulina Baragova for a little less than a week. The two may have also known each other outside of work. The first concert Corinna ever went to was Lil Wayne visiting her childhood home with Toddy Smith. You can see the rapper's posters all over her bedroom. And here we are in Chicago in my childhood bedroom that is green and filled with, I don't even know. Lil Wayne. Corinna graduated and eventually moved out to California where she worked as a nanny in Malibu while attending college. We're not sure exactly what school she went to, but my money's on the University of Southern California. Dropping out of college, Corinna decided that a life in social media was for her. She had been posting on Instagram since 2012 and had gathered a large following on that platform. Collaborating with the likes of fellow Chicago native David Dobrik, she found popularity on YouTube. Beginning her own channel in 2017, some of her videos included vlogs in which she shared stories as well as weird challenges. I've always wanted to do the Pringles challenge. Don't look. Oh. Keep your eyes Give me a sec, I got a little, I got savory. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is not a water challenge. Stop, stop. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is Before They're Famous. My name is Marlon Palmer and we post all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. So let us know who you want to see us document next in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting the bell and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.